Welcome, test subject. It's Cave, Prime, from Earth-1. I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. I... Hold up. What? All right, my assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. Got excited. You are the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokels built it, and you're going to test it. Remember, you got to let us know if it works or not. Otherwise, you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. All right, get to it. Here we are inside of Steam, and we went to Steam by going down to the Windows button and searching for it, but you probably also have a desktop icon that says Steam, so just fire that up, and I've clicked on Portal 2, but I want to point out a couple of things before we even go into the game. First of all, up at the top right-hand corner, I have my username up here. I'm at station 18. Yours should reflect whatever station you're sitting at. If you're sitting at station number 2, this should say Seed Station 2. If not, please call an adult over so we can sign off and sign back in with the proper account. The second thing is, this little child icon right here should be red. That means that Family View is turned off. That allows us to go into the Steam Workshop, which we're about to do. If it's green, call an adult over so we can turn it off for you right now. What we're going to do is browse the Workshop. And I've created a collection for us of several test chambers that I think will work really well for us. So click on Collections. Search Portal 2, search for Seed School Summer Enrichment. It will pop right up. Click on it. I have check marks here because I've already downloaded them. You'll see little green plus icons, which you should click on each plus icon. And when you do that, it will add it directly into your, into your portal game. So once you've done that, you can come up here to the child icon, please confirm you'd like to return to Family View, press OK, and now we can press play to actually go inside of Portal. Here we are inside of Portal 2, and before we get to playing, I want us to change some of the options real quick, which will make our life easier uh, coming up. We're going to go to Options, Video, and we're going to change the display mode to run in a window. Yours will probably say Full Screen. They can say run in a window by using these arrows on the side. Make the resolution 1280 by 768. And then you can press, you'll probably have to press apply. If I change things, I press apply. Then I can press escape to go back. So now that we've downloaded our test chambers, let's go ahead and go into community test chambers. Single player chambers. And all the chambers that you downloaded on the last step should be here. All you have to do is click on one and press play. Welcome, test subject. It's Cave, Prime, from Earth-1. I am speaking to you from across... 
So here we are inside of a test chamber, and I'm going to show you how you're going to prove to us that you've completed all the test chambers. So, and I'll also give you some hints about this one, which might be a little tricky at first. So, I need to get up to the exit, but I can't jump that high. So what I'm going to do... use my portals and physics to get over there. So what I'm going to do is put a portal down there, and I'm going to put a portal over there. Now what I'm thinking is if I jump through this, this blue portal, as I'm falling I'm going to gain speed, I'm going to gain momentum, and then when I come out of the orange portal I'll still have all that speed and I'll come flying across the room. Let's see if it works. Whee! There it worked perfectly. I jumped off the ledge, I gained a lot of speed when I was falling, I fell through the blue portal, came out the orange and I still had all that speed so I sort of rocketed up here and now I'm finished the chamber. And here we are at the end. This is the screen that will prove to me that you have finished the chamber. In the background I can see that you're actually in the little elevator. That's important. So what you need to do now is you're going to open up what's called the snipping tool and the next video will show you how to do that. But basically, you're going to go down to the Windows button, and where, you, where you're going to search, you're going to search for the word SNIP, S-N-I-P. A program called the Snipping Tool is going to come up. And it's going to allow you to take a picture of your screen and save it. You should save it into your S drive. These will, pictures will be the proof that you have actually completed your assignments. So here we are just at sort of my desktop screen. I'm going to go down to the Windows button. I'm going to type in SNP, and it pops the snipping tool. Now the whole screen goes gray, and I see this little snipping tool toolbar. And then I can just draw a window by clicking and dragging around the thing that I want to take a picture of. When I let go, I have a picture of that part of the screen. I'm going to press Save. I'm going to go into my S drive. So mine's called J Eames. And I'm going to create a new folder. Portal 2. Now, right now you would be taking a picture of the end of the test chamber. So whatever test chamber that was, you should put it in the name. So if it was, that one I think we did was called level 1 underscore, and then I'm going to do my J. Eames, my first initial last name, and I'm going to save it like that. Then you'll have a photo that has all of the screens for all the portals, you, or the, all the test chambers that you finished, and that will be your proof, and your grade will depend upon that. So please don't skip this step.